All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm on camera, hard voice, apparently. My Will Smith daughter, Willow Smith, letter to Tupac asking him to make Jada happy goes viral. Okay, I heard. First thing I heard about this was Kodak Black today saying that, you know, what he would have did to Willow Smith, which if he was Will Smith, man. At the end of the day, bro, Will Smith is the L king. I mean, I think he might have had that crown when they had the real table talk um not too long ago and now your daughter writing a letter to Tupac and somehow would get viral either this family is thriving on um negative or positive publicity and they're doing on paper on purpose to remain relevant right or just continue to make will look bad you know remember back in the day uh remember back in the day dog when uh Um, remember back in the day when you know you had those the masculine fathers, um, and you know, everybody was you know, I don't want to uh say scared, right? But everybody respected them and they wasn't gonna go out their way, um, to disrespect them now. Like I said, my theory on it, you know, um, my theory on it possibly is that they just doing this just to keep the, the family name relevant. That That's my thing about it. I think they doing this just to keep the family name relevant. My opinion on that, right? Um, But to this point, you know, it's seeming like they can, you know, continue to make Will Will just becoming a butt of the jokes. And I know females don't like to be embarrassed. They don't like for you to check them in public and all that type of stuff. But this is just unacceptable, honestly. Since Willow, Willow Smith's letter to Tupac asking him to make Jada happy goes right. To me, this is this is just, uh, this is definitely, they doing this stuff definitely on purpose. A letter reportedly read about Willow Smith asking the Tupac Shakur to come back and make her mom happy. Make her mom, Jada Pinkett Smith, happy is going viral. The letter surfaced after the spotlight was shown on Will Smith and Jada's marriage after Will Smith slapped Chris Rock on stage at the Oscars on March 27. The letter, which was supposedly written by Willow, states that she knows he is alive some someplace and asks him to come back so mommy and me can be happy. All right. Jada had a close relationship with rapper to his death following a drive-by shooting at the age of 25 in 1996. Since then, there have been a number of unsubstantial claims made he's still alive. High somewhere, Jada has spoken out many times on her grief. She felt the Tupac's death, particularly in the episode Red Table Talk broadcast May, eight, uh, May 2018. All right. Uh, the letter came to light after internet personality Kevin Samuel highlighted it. It was then shared. The TikTok video has been viewed 2.6 million times. The letter sparked debate online. Many questions are authentic. Uh, authenticity of the of that all right um and like i said before you can easily come out and say yo this shit cat that's all she gotta say cat if it's true or not true she can easily come out and say oh this cat you know and then how old is she do, do people still write do these kids still write? I just learned like last week that they don't teach cursive no more i remember i remember in the second grade girls trying to write cursive i remember the teacher saying her name was mitch van mark she was like, y'all don't even know how to write cursive. She's like, she's like, y'all don't even know how to write cursive. Stop trying to y'all learn how to write it. Now they don't even teach it no more. The kid ain't even come home with books one day. <laughs> they where your books at? They said, you know, it's all on the, on the Google Chromebook. You know, so it is what it is. He said, dear Pop, I know you, dear Tupa, I know you are alive someplace. I think that my mommy uh, really misses you. Can you please come back? Uh, Come back. Can you come back so mommy and me can be happy? I wish you were here. I really do. Love Willow. At the end of the day, bro. I mean, does Tupac really, you know, really want, want her? Did, you know, if, he, if they wanted each other, you know, I'm not even going to continue to read all of this, bro. If, she, if, if he wanted her, bro, if this is true, if he wanted her, then why ain't never had no type of relationship, bro? Why when, um, why when uh 
you know, when he was he was hiding an old girl from uh what's my old girl, the light skinned chick uh from uh different worlds. Why she say that uh Tupac was hiding in her house after he got shot? No, he didn't know he could trust nobody. Why he ain't hiding at your house at the end of the day, bro? You know, you hear a lot of I remember I was listening to the radio, Keith Sweat got that little apologize to your boy or whatever, your girlfriend. And the girl was saying how she still ain't over her ex and she lied to our new guy friend. Like I said before, when a girl say you a guy friend, no matter if you smashing, you her fool dude, man, like, bro, if you got any ambitions on her being with you, dude, and she can end up marrying a guy friend, but you still just going to be in the friend zone even if you married. You know, who want to get all, the woman all control in the relationship? You know what I'm saying? But like I said before, when she's saying... You are a guy friend, bro. Man, get up out of there. Don't do it to yourself, bro. I play the game where it's convenient when you smash when you want to smash somehow, some way. But like I said before, Will Smith know he made a mistake, bro. Um, somebody harping on somebody if they did and not did like that. She need to heal, you know, get over that. And Will should have revisited. And Will should have went to go be with somebody else. No matter how much you like Jada Pickett. No matter how fine she was in low down dirty shame, she didn't even have a big enough. She ain't even no offense to her. She ain't even big enough to stand on her own, even be one percent of what Will is in the music entertainment world. You know, but like I said before, you know, Will, you know, was met by Jada, like Jada's well, fam, Jada family believed in open marriages and stuff of that nature, and probably like the person, and probably still do. But at this point, if this ain't all orchestrated to remain to keep the family remain irrelevant you know it's just at the point where you know maybe you need to lose half of that you know and, and move on and separate so but you got your daughter writing pictures you know writing letters if that's true i mean i'd be in a rehabilitation home too and then internet everybody on the internet got something to say like they ain't never been through nothing like niggas ain't never you know been through nothing at all I don't even know what to say. Everybody just kicking him when he down, but then they want to turn around and talk and talk about black cohesiveness and black power and black lives matter and all that, this, that, and the third. The women go and say, you know, we need men that's going to protect us. Somebody slap somebody in his honor. Oh, that's not good enough. Like I said before, man, don't go out there doing nothing for these women, bro. Lose your life trying to be tough. Cause then once you dead, they're gonna just move on to the to the next guy. It's a fact. They're gonna move on to the next guy. You know, ploop, uh, you know, being with a being with women, bro, is it's a it's a how can I say? It's a I can it's a uh it's it's it's, it's not you can't win. It's always something, bro. And then you know, when you make them happy. Nine times out of ten, you ain't like really happy. You really in a good place, you know. And then when they mad, the whole mood, the whole house be messed up. When you mad, it's just the kids and everybody. Oh, it be all right. Get over it. You will figure it out. When they mad, it's Defcon twenty five. Like I said before, you wanna know why people ain't, you know, why they say fertility rate is down and marriages is down. People just simply want to live their life and not go through the bull crap. You know, somebody going through some bull crap like this, and ain't Tupac, it ain't Jada, ain't Will, none of them names is big enough, you know. But if somebody with a chick or, you know, with a guy who ain't got over their ex, you know, for real, you know, somebody somewhere, I think the what if is one of the biggest challenges to the human relationship. Oh, what if it would have worked? If it would have worked out, it was supposed to be, it was supposed to be. Like now I said, it was written. If it was supposed to be, she was supposed to be with Tupac, then why y'all ain't go ahead and elope or some shit, stuff like that? It wasn't meant to be. And if your life ain't continue to be happy without Tupac, man, Will Smith should have never stepped in there. Smith, Will Smith should have got a chick that was his speed. You know, but we all attracted to opposites. We all attracted to what we usually couldn't have. You know, Will would have got a chick his speed, maybe they would have got divorced. Maybe he'd be happier. You know, who knows? You know, but, um, you know, for this to get us unacceptable, bro. I mean, no matter how much publicity you're trying to create, a red table, blue table, pink table, whatever they're doing, this ain't it. 
You know, she's been proven to be a hypocrite several times. You get Snoop up there and say Snoop, just, you know, you know, did this to Gail and she, you know, this, that, and the third because she shitted on Wooty Whoop. And I was so proud of then you say, well, you know, uh, you know, they, the feminist movement, when they, or they, when they play the feminist card, is one of the most hypocritical things that you will, you will see, bro. Same women in here, you know, when the song come on, that's, that's that's uh you know you know that's degrading women they the first ones with their hindsight up you know even if they like women they the first ones grinding i mean to me it's like vegan it's like veganism bro you know what i'm saying where everything they got you know tofu ribs tofu steak tofu macaroni and cheese or or vegan macaroni and cheese i must say a vegan steak or vegan lamb chops and all that stuff it's not the real thing. Vegan car, but vegan vultures, the best part of waking up is vegan cup vultures in yo, you know what I'm saying? You know that vegan everything, same thing with women that like women. You know, you ain't got the real thing, no matter how much they living up to it. You don't have it. Yeah. You 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 getting a, a, a supplement. <laughs> You know, whatever you like. You, if you want to have a kid, you need a man to have a kid. I'm totally, totally fine with people's decisions at this point. I, mean, I don't care. Live your life. You know, a lot of a lot of dudes out there living the same. With women, with actual women, a lot of people living living a lie. She fine, but don't 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 check off none of the boxes, but a trophy. What trophies do sit on the wall? Trophies don't raise kids. Trophies don't cook. Trophies don't clean. I was looking at what's my man's. Uh, I be liking Cuz interview too, bro. He be hand, he be handling Charleston White with kindness and, 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 and just subtle stuff, man. Band man Kevo. You know, um, you know, he talked about you know this, that, and the third and about how his girl. How the dog is shit and the girl out of he don't see it till he point out she don't cook clean with the whoop. Right and why he kicked her out and he explained everything. But I like what he be spit spitting. I don't always agree with you know he be saying, but I don't really always agree with a lot of people. You know, but you know, at the end of the day, a lot of y'all be married to trophies for looks, and then on top of that, the trophy they be artificial. Shit, in a minute, chicks gonna start getting kneecap plastic surgery and shoulder width plastic surgery. You know, a lot of these niggas just have trophies, dog. And if you ain't got a black trophy, it's going to crack like the damn concrete when, when the hawk smash. You know, a lot of these other women age them quick. <laughs> you ain't even going to have that or you got an unlucky one, you know. You know, so, you know, a lot of these niggas ain't getting, you know, then you have a kid and you really find out, you know, or you live with somebody, you really find out that you in a place where, whew, and some people live with it. You hear you hear niggas talk about, you know, you know, what you see them, would you have a girl that couldn't cook? You have a girl that didn't have a big booty or didn't have the best face or, you know, have big feet or big nose. And niggas say, I'll cook for myself. <laughs> you don't need a girl that can cook. You know what I'm saying? So everybody got they non-negotiables and they negotiables. You know, now they pushing this whole thing where all oh, man, you know, people talking about women should stay in the kitchen, which is sexist or Everybody should say, well, everybody should clean. Okay, if everybody should clean and I got to cook for myself and I'm supposed to pay most of the, all the bills, like, dog, think about it for a minute. What do I need a woman for at the end of the day? I can go pay for a massage. You know, you know, Punani going for $20 out here these days. Even when the places I heard niggas say $25, $22.50, still going for $22. I mean, shit, not even that. You know what I'm saying? You give chick pint of and pint of, uh, uh Hennessy and you good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You could just get some. It's easy. You know, so if you're just looking for companionship, bro, most of these women can't even stimulate you on the level mentally that you need to be stimulated on. You know, and it depends. A lot of people might want to, you know, be able to hold a complex conversation. I don't know if you're a scientist about science stuff or, you know, or have a, hold a conversation about a video game. That's what a lot of niggas want girls that game. Or hold, you know, they have no interest. They have no interest. So, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, that's a whole different conversation. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Check the music entertainment playlist out. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. 
subscribe to the channel and subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance to get notifications. We go live. We're drop a video. Hit the link tree link. You find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor. Also, you find my donation links there as well, too. Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Also, they run at the bottom of the screen. Cash App, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link description. Appreciate the love and support. Check the music entertainment playlist out. Let me know what you think about the video in the comment section. One time for the one time. Peace.